Hello, I'll welcome everyone. Uh, hello, we're going to start today's session. I would like to introduce Eric Method from MCDI. He will be our presenter for today. Also, we want to tell you that our recorded version of this webinar will be available right after the webinar ends. So we we'll leave to we'll love to hear from you. So please, on your right side of your screen, you have a question panel. So please send us your question. Tensi Saravia, also from MCDI, she'll be helping us with your questions. So please send us your any doubt or any questions that you might have, please send us to that panel. So let's see if we can start. Let's check first on the audio quality. Can you please? Uh, yes, we can. Thank you for this introduction. Everybody hearing me correctly? So uh today i want to show you a few things in securita uh, we actually have two apps which are securita and uh mcb uh one is for uh, receiving an arm processing an arm the other one is to dispatch uh, staff so the auto audio quality is good for everyone everyone hears me correctly you can please send us your comments on the right side of your screen there is a question panel so please let us know if the audio quality is okay. Okay, I think we can we can start. Perfect. So thank you everyone to uh, join uh, me this morning. Uh, what I'm going to show you is uh, Securita. We're going to have a brief overview of Securita and a few of uh, the features. Uh, Securita is actually the fourth uh, version, uh, fourth software that we do. Um, MCI is, uh, was born in Canada in 1994, 25 years ago. Uh, we had uh, SAM, WinSAM, Secretor 1, now Secretor 2, that, uh, that are still sold by uh, Cisco and Epcom. We are partners with uh, Cisco and Epcom since 1996. Um, so today I'm going to show you this, uh, what you see on the, the right side of my screen is Securita. And on the left, I'm using TeamViewer to show you uh, some Android apps uh, that uh, we make. Um, and noticeably this one, the APS uh, is a panic button that, uh, that works with Securita. And we're going to show you later the MCB app. Uh, that is uh, used for tracking and dispatching uh, staff that can be guard patrols or that can also be any mobile staff that you have delivery uh, uh, alarm technicians. Um, so on the right, this is a typical uh, form that our uh, operators would see in Securita. They would see uh, alarm traffic here. Um, they can uh, work with uh, with the account management, um, do all sorts of things. They could uh, also uh, do video verification with this. Uh, so we're going to see a lot of this. Uh, and we're going to see our uh, help button here, uh, which I will use to generate alarms. So the um, APS uh, app, is a help button that you can uh, give to your subscriber. Um, it works for uh, Android and also for uh, for iPhones. Um, basically, what it does is you can generate an alarm signal by pressing this uh, red button here. Uh, you also have the possibility to uh, send um, uh, other type of alarm uh, named uh, like roadside assistance, medical or fire uh, directly. Um, so the bearer of the uh, of the uh, app would send this, and it will also send his uh, his geolocation. Uh, so we're going to see in Securita that uh, these alarm signals are coming in uh, a bit the same way as um, a regular um, alarm receiver would be. So if you connect your SureGuard, your Bosch, your MCDI receivers. Uh, or your uh, software virtual receivers, uh, they would be collected by this ST receiver and they would show up in traffic for your operators. So in this case, I made alarms uh, from the app and I have a panic alarm here that I can uh, process like if, if I'm uh, an operator. 
Um, so it's a, it's a simple process. It will uh, bring a form like this and it will give instructions to the operator as to what are you doing in this case. Uh, it helps the operator know what it is. Uh, it converts uh, from a, uh, an alarm code like a PA uh, in, and, uh, and location uh, to maps and, um, and instruction. Uh, we have a call list that is made specifically for this, uh, this alarm code. Uh, that call list can be different if it's a perimeter alarm or if it's um, uh, open uh, or close uh, signal. Um, and from this, I have several things I can do. I can call people, I can call 911, uh, but I can also use uh, the patrol dispatch to actually uh, send um, uh, a request to one of my uh, patrols uh, that is in the field. Uh, in this case, since it's a panic alarm, what I want to do is I want to, uh, to send my patrolman to uh, the location and um, I actually have a picture of uh, the gentleman that, uh, that uh, triggered the, uh, the, um, the uh, panic signal. Uh, and uh, I can write a request to my guards, something like, uh, go help this person report and uh, call ambulance if needed. That might be useful today since we have uh, snow and ice in the roads uh, in Montreal, so some people can just fall on the sidewalks. Uh, we might have a request uh, of, to help uh, like this. So this I will send to my guard uh, and that will transfer my alarm to, uh, to a pending. So all the processing of the alarm can be done uh, on automation. Um, and um, while uh, my uh, staff is actually uh, responding. So I'm going to show you uh from the uh, the phone uh to which i sent let me uh, let me ensure that the, the team viewer on the phone is actually enabled and uh, it's going to take a few seconds and we're going to see live from the uh from the uh, phone if the gods on the internet are with us. Okay, hold on. Mm -hmm. We're going to re-enable this. Okay, here we are. So our phone is here, and this is the app that we're using, the MCB app uh, that we're using to talk with uh, Securita. Um, MCB is actually another program, but we do have a plugin to bridge between Securita and uh, MCB. So in this case, I sent my alarm uh, response to, uh, to my guard. Uh, I'm going to accept on the side of the guard. And we're going to look, uh, and uh, in this case, it, the, the, the app tell me that I'm just on, within 100 meter of the location of the person. Uh, so I'm going to look at this location. I have the location that was passed from the, uh, the panic uh, app. And I have uh, all the, uh, I have the picture of the person that was sent to me by the operator. And I also have the, uh, the mission that it was given to me by uh, the, uh, the operator. So go help this person, report call ambulance if, if needed. So the, what the guard can do is he can actually uh, write a report on this, uh, saying, uh, uh, I uh, found uh, Mr. Mittat, he is fine, does not need an ambulance. Perfect. And what I can also do is I can join a picture to my, uh, my report. So that picture would be something like this, saying that, uh, well, let's take another one. And what I can do is once I'm satisfied with it, I have my report 
and uh, I have my picture, I can send it. Uh, yes, I want to end my mission. So what will happen is the app will upload the, the report of the guide uh, and, uh, and the picture. And it will, it will send this back to Securitar. So we see here in Securitar to the right that we have noticed that the mission is completed. Well, first that it was accepted and then completed. So I'm gonna bring it back since my, uh, my alarm processing was in pending. Uh, I see here that I have a report that's changed to blue. So I have a, a report from my, um, my uh, my guard, uh, I have my picture that is also uh, uploaded. So I'm gonna, instead of switching, I'm gonna bring back uh, Securitar here and uh, show you in PCB. So this is the location of uh, the guard to which I sent the, uh, the, uh, the uh, alarm. And I also have uh, reports uh, that I can uh, show for this. So in this case, this is the last mission, uh, the the uh, app, the help request that I uh, sent, and I also have the report attachment uh, showing uh, here. So the picture that I just took. So. In this PCB, I have several things. Uh, I can also. Um, uh, assign missions uh, directly, and I can uh, also uh, use itinerary. So I can send a guard on a more complex tour, um, something like uh, this here, where they have to do uh, several um, uh, several checkpoints. But we're going to see this uh, a bit later. Uh, we're going to be back in Securita. So every login is um, is through password, and for every uh, login, we do have um, a management of operator. So in our operator, we can specify what an operator can do. Um, so you decide if a supervisor has more rights than uh, a normal operator. Uh, if you don't want an operator to delete an account, for example, that's uh, where it's set. Um, for the rest of uh, of uh, Securita, we uh, we still have our um, our uh, cameras. So what I'm going to show you here, and we're going to try to see if we have one camera that is uh, um, that is available. Uh, and this is an alarm for and it opens automatically the uh, the uh, corresponding camera so in the account i had said that for this burglary uh, alarm this e130 contact id for burglary uh, i open uh, directly this channel so this is um, a daqua camera actually uh, we can keep the recording of what you see here uh, and by the way, if it was a PTZ, I would be able to control it. Uh, would you like to keep the pictures? No, I don't need it. Um, and I'm satisfied with the video verification, so I can just finalize my uh, uh, my comments. So no need to have a notepad all the time. Uh, everything can be noted in Securita. So every intervention by the operator can be noted uh, in comments and I can finalize this. So um, let's take a little uh, side tour here and go see cameras. Um, because for cameras, we have, uh, we have several. Uh, the basic security will come with a vision and DACWA, uh, the SDK version, which are quite complete. Uh, and we do also have a, a module that is called Cam Plus or Cam Premium. Uh, that one will bring much more um, camera brands. Um, most uh, are listed here. Um, and we also have some um, more advanced modules like uh, Daventis, uh, Avigilon, uh, which are uh, 
using the the uh, the um, software by these uh, companies. In this case, uh, we have uh, sorry for the noise. We're gonna bring this down here. So in this case, uh, we also have uh, for Eggvision we have the Ick Connect, uh, the peer to peer. Um, that is available with the CAN Plus uh, module. Um, so, and for the rest of Securita, let's go into account management here, uh, see a few features that are interesting. Um, for example, for, uh, for each account, each uh, partition and each zone, you can have pictures attached. So in case of my account one, two, three, four here, I can have this uh, floor plan um so it's uh, easy to uh, to guide uh, our staff um we have geolocation here and that uh, that will bring uh, a map uh, a google map uh, actually uh, for this so we have uh, the exact location of this uh, this uh, customer um Besides this, it's possible to get uh, schedules in Security. So I can say that uh, this site uh, will arm at a specific time or will disarm at specific time. So if you have a customer that is, um, uh, let's say a jewelry shop and you want to be sure that they open at uh, eight in the morning, you set a schedule like this. So you will know if the, uh, the shop is open before eight uh, or if it's open in time and uh, you have notification to the operator. Um, you also have several notification that can be made uh, in Securita uh, by uh, email, SMS or push notification. Um, for example, you decide that uh, auto test is not a notification, uh, but uh, if you have a medical key fob, you can uh, enable uh, sending an email to this, uh, this customer. Uh, and this is selectable per alarm code per, uh, per account. Um, and there's no, um, no restriction on the number of people. So if you have a customer, a big corporate customer, and you need to send uh, the, uh, the notification to 30 people, no problem. You, you just list them uh, here. So the email is pretty straightforward in Securita. Uh, SMS can be added. Uh, you need a SMS modem that you connect to uh, to uh, Securita. Um, and we also offer a service of push notification. So the push notification is actually a app uh, that is uh, that is uh, available for both um, both Android and um, and uh, iPhone. Uh, this is the app in question, so you get notification and you get the traffic uh, as a notification. It's um, the interesting uh, thing in it is that there's no per message delivery fee like you have for SMS, and as it pops in front of the of the phone when it opens, uh, you have a better notification from the customer. Uh, this app is available in many languages like. I think we now count something like uh, probably, uh, yeah, I'd say over 15 for sure. Even some uh, Bengalese. Uh, easy registration. Uh, it's a QR code uh, that uh, you send from your uh, central station uh, and the customer registers uh, easily. Uh, the same is true for the, uh, the, um, the uh, help button app. It's a, it's a simple registration. You create the code and you give it to the customer so we download. So the customer does not have to, uh, to fill parameters uh, such as uh, IP port and, uh, and, uh, and so on. Um, it's downloaded directly in, uh, in his app and it's uh, ready to roll at, the, at that moment. So the customer does not need to know the port, the IP and the port that you're using, uh, it just sends to. So the app will work uh, over IP, that is Wi-Fi, uh, any kind of, uh, of uh, internet connection. 
uh, Wi-Fi will work, uh, GPRS uh, 3G LTE. Uh, and for Android, we also have the possibility to get an app with uh, SMS uh, uh, notification as a side notification uh, to your central station. Um, while we're on the subject of this app, there are two more features that are really interesting in this one. Uh, one is the friends notification, uh, meaning that uh, your, uh, your subscriber can actually send a message with their location uh, to friends, uh, that is uh, either by um, SMS or by email. So if I, uh, for example, I have these two uh, here, and if I send this, uh, it sends uh, the message uh, to my email and to my, uh, to my SMS. Uh, it says, uh, it gives a simple message that is, well, you see it here, here it is currently here, and my, uh, my uh, location. So no panic uh, signal when you uh, you hit the friend button, just a simple notification. Very useful for children uh, as well. Uh, the other nice feature that we have in it is the uh, APS Plus. It's the uh, rendezvous. Uh, rendezvous is French for appointment. Uh, in what that means is you can, from the app, set um, um, a location. Uh, an appointment where you, uh, location where you will be, uh, for example, this is my office here, uh, and that will be, uh, I will be within 150 meters of uh, my office, and I'm set to, to be there uh, today, later today, and I'm going to be there around 3 o'clock uh, today, 3.15, let's say. And when I do this, it activates at least five minutes. Uh, yeah, that's 3.15 in the morning. Uh, so we're gonna be at 3.23, that's gonna be good. And it activate, so it's gonna close and, uh, and uh, bring it back here. And we're gonna see, gonna bring it back here. So we see that this blue radar uh, icon is now lighted and uh, uh, there's a countdown. Uh, so I have to be there uh, within two hours and 59 minutes. Uh, on security side, it actually creates, uh, it actually creates uh, a rendezvous detection creation here. It creates a schedule in security. So uh, in security, if I am not within the 150 meters uh, set, uh, there's going to be a, an alarm in Securita. And um, when the app is activated, there's actually some tracking uh, been done and some verification of my well-being. So in this case, um, the alarm session will know if I, if I met uh, the appointment. And can also uh, send uh, uh, send uh, some people to help me uh, if needed, or call me to verify. It depends what are your standard operating procedures. Um, feel free to send questions through the chat. Uh, my colleague Tensi uh, is there to give you preliminary answers or to give me uh, um, notes uh, on things that, uh, that I need to show you on screen. Um, there are many uh, more that we could uh, see uh, in this. We could go more in depth, like uh, templates, uh, reports, uh, meaning that you can generate reports uh, automatically in Securita. That is, uh, let's say, at the end of uh, the day, uh, you could send a report of, uh, of uh, events to each of your customers. And that report can be tailored with the name of your central station, Oh, just bringing your attention here to the left, uh, to the phone, APS just checking. So the phone is set to check on me every few minutes. And if I don't answer, it's gonna actually uh, uh, notify the, the, uh, the central that I missed my, uh, my check. So I was on report. So reports can be set so you automatically send reports and the content of the reports can be tailored as well. 
Um, partition list here will give us uh, who is open, who is ARM, and disarm. So in each account, you see these here, the green uh, box, uh, which tells you if it's uh, disarm or or ARM. Uh, so your customer, you know which one. Uh, and in some cases, uh, we're going to see further down the road that there are some systems, for example, everything that is made by M2M, uh, we do have the ability to, um, there's a module you can add to secure it off to, uh, to uh, arm or disarm remotely uh, for a customer if, if that's needed. Um, so that is a real uh, fast uh, overview of, uh, of Securita. Uh, of course, when we install Securita, um, we go much deeper uh, to, uh, to do the training, and that training can be done in English, in Spanish, uh, Portuguese, uh, I think in Farsi and Cantonese as well. Um, for next, what I would like to show you is uh, is the um, the uh, mission control board. So NCB is actually a suite of uh, product, and uh, these products are um, made to track and dispatch your staff. So in this case, uh, on the left uh, side. I'm actually uh, showing the MCB app. Um, in this case, I'm logging as Guard Yoda. Um, and on the right side, you see my location. So if I have uh, 50 guards in the street, uh, I would know exactly where they are. Uh, that uh, also works with, uh, with other uh, staff. Uh, so you as long as they have the Android app, uh, you can track them and you can dispatch jobs to them. Uh, so that means that you can give this to, to uh, alarm technicians, uh, system installers. You can give this to your delivery staff, to your salesmen. Uh, there's no restriction, really. Uh, as long as they are on the road, uh, they can use the, uh, the MCB app. The MCB app is uh, available through our uh, to the Google Play Store. It's uh, it's a uh, free uh, to download, uh, and it will work uniquely with your uh, your mission control board suite. So in this, I see where where uh, a guard is. Um, I actually see in this case the battery level. I see uh, in this case he does not have. Um, uh, a car, so I can actually give him a car. Uh, so we have pre-registered car, and I have two that are um, that are free to use. And well, let's let's be nice and let's give him the Lamborghini. So I can associate to a guard, uh, and that's going to be Master Yoda. And right, we're still checking uh, that uh, that everything is good with this person. So Master Yoda is now driving the Lamborghini, nice cars that we have in MCDI. Uh, we have notifications here. And um, while well, I'm using uh, Master Yoda as a username, uh, our way to do fun, but you can actually uh, do put real names uh, uh, as you wish, uh, and you have more information on each uh, each guard that uh, you're using. Um, and we are here. We can also uh, set uh, the skill set of uh, each guard. Uh, that means that for each guard, we can specify uh, what are they doing. And in this case, this one uh, speaks uh, English, speaks Greek, Portuguese, and Spanish. Um, of course, if he's armed, if he has a, is a canine patrol, if he has a, a driver's license, that can all be indexed and you can specify this per guard. So that might be useful in Securita because we can send a mission from Securita and select uh, according to the, uh, the skill set. Uh, the skill set can actually also, we can filter uh, the guards that we see by skill set. 
and we can know which one is uh, is available by the status. Uh, we have little dots here, and the colors uh, tell us that Master Yoda is available. Um, but if he is on a mission, uh, it would show in orange. So. Uh, talking about missions, uh, we saw earlier that we can send a mission from Securita, but uh, if we're not using Securita, we just want, let's say, to uh, I'm still checking that I'm uh, that I'm alive. Uh, if we uh, we just want to uh, to send them uh, without uh, a prior alarm, we can actually uh, send a mission to our guard and. Uh, like this, I'm selecting in and uh, bring me a tall latte. And I'm gonna send him to Starbucks. Uh, uh, let's see if we have one that is close to us. Aha, so I like the ones from this, this place. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna send him uh, right away. But Notice here that I could actually you send him to uh, to the location of one of our accounts in uh, Securita. So I'm going to send this to my guard, and we see to the left in the app that we have our new mission request, which is I bring the uh, talete. Uh, I'm going to accept it, and um, I have the location where uh, where the boss wants me to bring in the latte my my instructions so i'm gonna write my notes uh yes master coming right away i can also put um again a picture so the picture would be like this here and um, I accept my picture, and I'm gonna send end my mission. My guard is here showing in orange, uh, meaning he's on duty. But when our uh, our report is done, it's gonna switch back to green. So our panic app is still checking on us that we're good because we have to be at the office in two hours and forty nine minutes. But Let's check our uh, our patrol app uh, for now. So I can send a mission just on the fly like this. The other type uh, of jobs that I can send is I can send uh, my guard on uh, itinerary, uh, guard tour or delivery tour that can be uh, that can be uh, either, um, and uh, that can be here we are in schedule. Uh, that can be something like uh, this, um, simple one or two uh, two point uh, tour. Uh, I have one here that is a bit uh, more complex, uh, where they have uh, something like uh, 11 or 12, uh, 12 locations. Uh, a nice addition that we have in uh, the this new 1.2 version that is that actually came out uh, last um, Monday. Uh, we have scans of uh, NFC tags in, uh, in QR codes. So that means that if we send the guard to this location, he actually needs to, to scan uh, NFC tag to prove that he, he was there. So we have dual uh, notification. We have um, uh, dual confirmation, sorry. We have the location and we have the tag. So the tags are... Um, Actually, uh, small tags like uh, let me put some uh, on um, on screen. Um, they're generally inexpensive. Uh, NFC tag uh, two one three um, stickers like this here. Uh, that can be found Amazon, uh, Alibaba, wherever. Um, usually something like uh, 25 to 50 cents. The more expensive ones, the one with uh, a ferret backing like this, here might be 50 cents to a dollar. Uh, these are actually necessary if you stick the, uh, the NFC tag 
um, to something metallic. So that means that the guard needs to scan and you have a specific confirmation. Also very useful if you send a guard uh, on in a building that has many floors. Um, in this case, uh, the geolocation would not tell you exactly if you went to each floor. The tag, scanning the tag would uh, as well. So um, besides this in, uh, in uh, MCB, um, I have geofencing. Uh, geofencing uh, means that we can define um, routes uh, and we can define zones. So in this case, I can say that this guard uh, is allowed or restricted in this area. If you don't want a guy to go inside a zone, it can be done. But we can also uh, define an authorized area. Uh, the purpose of this is, uh, let's say do you have a contract and you have to put a, a guard um, in a bank uh, for the day. Uh, you define a perimeter like this, so you know if your guard uh, goes out of the perimeter. I think I actually have uh, some, we see here geofencing warning uh, in, um, in the phone, uh, meaning that uh, I actually left the, uh, the, uh, the uh, location I was uh, authorized to be in. So that detection is made every three minutes and we have it at the central station and we have it in the phone as well. Um, we can also, uh, forgot to show you here in uh, Geofence, in, uh, in our rules, we can actually, uh, if it's an authorized area, we can actually specify the time. Uh, so if, if our guy is uh, bound to be there between nine and three, uh, we can specify a start and, and end time. Um, and meaning also that tomorrow we can be at another location. So we have this flexibility. So I'm uh, pretty much done for, uh, for MCB. So just to wrap up, uh, we get alarms in Securita. We can get alarms from many, many, many sources. Uh, that can be the DT42 receivers, that can be a SureGuard receiver, uh, that can also be some cameras, and we have a list of camera that we can uh, we can add per account. Uh, some cameras like this, uh, for example, my VivoTech here uh, is actually a PTZ camera, uh, so I can uh, I can manipulate and I can uh, I think the camera is upside down at the office, so I can move the camera. I can do some recordings. Uh, as well, I can keep recordings uh, if I need to. Uh, one last feature that I did not uh, told you about. We do have um, in Securitar the ability to connect Securitar to some PBX, uh, namely SIP PBX, like uh, any Asterix PBX is actually a SIP PBX. Uh, so if you click on this icon, uh, it will, uh, well, in this case, I don't have a PBX connected, but it would, it will dial out the phone number. So you don't have to dial, uh, the phone number of your customer. You only need to, uh, to, um, click on the phone icon. It will dial out and it will link the call to the, uh, phone of uh, the, um, of the operator. And of course, we have the ability to record that phone call as well. Um, so next, that's pretty much the big features in, in Securita. Uh, notice that Securita can be used um, no matter if you have a central station, but it can also be used in the security department of um, of a company. We have uh, many uh, companies doing their own monitoring, like uh, uh, school boards, uh, big uh, buildings, uh, petrochemical buildings. Uh, in Mexico, we have uh, people with uh, pharmacy chains. Um, 
convenience stores like uh, like Oxo are using uh, this. Um, breweries are using uh, the software. In Asia, I have many IKEA stores also using uh, Securita for their own monitoring. Uh, so, and they use uh, this in conjunction with uh, the uh, PCB um, uh, that uh, that we saw uh, for the, the uh, staff uh, tracking and uh, and dispatching. Um, time for questions. If um, anybody has um, questions, I can answer and show uh, show you. Well, uh, hello everyone, my name is Timsi Sarabia. I don't know if you can hear me. Uh, maybe, Eric, we could uh, show them the uh, new option for end-to-end -end services to uh, arm or disarm directly from the secretor. Uh, yes, this is a small thing that we have in, uh, in alarm codes uh, here. Um, to, 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 to. I'm actually not sure if I have it in my security talk, let's see. Uh, let me check. Yes, you have it at the right, in schedules. Yeah. Say for, uh, uh, zones, uh, no, alarm codes. Uh, yes, this Maybe you don't have it. Uh, no, I don't have it in mine. Uh, <laughs> Let me check on another one. Maybe I can uh, I can find it here. No, unfortunately, I don't have it in this uh, in this machine tensing. But it's just a small buttons that we see here, uh, and um, that will uh, enable the the activation of uh, of M to M panel and also the peripheral devices. Thank you so much, Eric, for this presentation. Uh, we can take some uh, questions. If you might have a project coming up or you might have any issues, uh, please send us your questions so we can answer them through the question panel. And thank you so much, Eric, for this great, great webinar. This will be recorded and we're gonna be publishing this on our webinar section at the EPCOM website. So if for any reason you need to review this presentation, it will be hosted at our website. Also, we'll be sending it to your email right after the webinar. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Also, we'll be sending Tensis Arabia information as well, Eric and Marvin, so also you can get them through your email. Thank you so much for being this morning here with us, and we'll hope to see you on our next webinar. Thank you so much, and have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.